So you want to upload a reel to your Facebook page from your desktop this time, from your PC. Well, it's quite simple. You have two opportunities to do that. You can use the Meta Business Suite right here, or you can use the Creator Studio. Now, if you're in Meta Business Suite, what you want to do is click more. And as you can see, it says create reel over here. If you do go to Creator Studio, you would go to the left, this little green button, as long as Creator Studio is still there, and create reel, and you would click that, and it gives you the opportunity to pick the video you want to use for your reels right away. But now we will go into Meta Business Suite. It's pretty much the same process, apart from how you pick it. Now, so say create reel, as you can see here, it gives us the template already, whereas in Creator Studio, when we clicked Create New and click Reel, it just had us go pick our file, which is okay. But now what we wanna do is use Meta Business Suite. And so going there, we add our video here. You click Add Your Video, and let's say we wanted to add this video here. It shows us it's uploading here. At the time it's uploading, 100%, right? Added our video. You could caption your reel here. So we are doing Velocity Tutorial, right? And then we can add our hashtag, cap, cut, uh, velocity right here. Cap, cut, velocity, just to get that hashtag going. There we go. Now that's what we want to caption our reel as. Now we have the opportunity to choose a suggested frame for a thumbnail. This is what they're suggesting for us. We could choose any of these. You could choose your frame, which when you click, when you want to choose your frame, you go here and you get the opportunity to pick the frame you want once you click on exactly where you want it. And then you save that as a thumbnail and that becomes your thumbnail for the image. So, or you, you decide you just want to upload one, you go here and it gives you the opportunity to upload. It goes to your files and you can pick it. Get add a collaborator by name to your Facebook reel and they'll automatically, automatically be invited and you can send an invite directly. If you have a collaborator, this is where you can add it. Now, we have our preview here to the right. Remember when we uploaded, it gave us our preview to the right here and we have our total length, length, which is 55 seconds. And so if we want to spice this up, which many a times we want to do, you go to create and it should change things for us here under create because let's click edit. To use the velocity effect now, in CapCut, as you can you see, you can hear our volume here, here but so I am not driving you guys crazy. I will turn that volume down as we edit. Now, you can use the audio to pick music. For you know, you can search for your best artist that you want, you know, or any song that matches your tone, or you could actually pick the ones that are recommended for you here. And once you do that, as you can see, it's saying. On the bottom right here, it's saying BizCron Media Original Audio because that's what we are talking about. But if we click here, it sort of changes it. As you can see, you get the song here, but you can always reduce the volume of the song. These are the dials to reduce, increase that's our volume. How? You see, we increase our volume there. And these are the dials to increase the music. And then you could sort of balance it out, you know, however you want it. You know, however you want it, you could balance it out. All right. If you want to crop it, you have the opportunity to pick smart cropping, manual cropping, but it's telling us now that our video is already at the 916 ratio, so we don't need any cropping. How would this be useful? In the sense that you have a big video and you just want to take a part of it, you know, then it will give you the opportunity to just crop it so that what you see here actually makes a whole lot of sense. Okay, now... Audio enhancement, automatically remove background noise and equalize the audio. If you click this, that's what that does. Let's say you're outside and all that wind's blowing and all that, this could probably help so people can hear the audio a lot more. And you can do your um, uh, audio enhancement by clicking this on. But actually, if you want them to have the real deal, the real audio stuff, then you know hear exactly how the wind is blowing, you click that. Now let's click next to see what we have because now <clears throat> it gives us the opportunity to post it now. We could share now which is when we would click this button, uh, we could decide to schedule it, we get to pick our date, or we could save it as a draft to come back to it later. Um, now, 
you can allow it to be remixed. It's optional. Turn it on, turn it off. If you want people to sort of like add to your stuff and, you know, use it for their stuff, then they can do that with remixing this. Now, who can see this? Of course, your reels can appear in Feed, Watch, and other places across Facebook because you have set it to the public. So now, as you can see, it's showing this is going to the public. So now we have our reels all set up here. And what you want to do is then click Share if you want to share now. And once you do share, it automatically just goes to your reels and you have the opportunity to delete it you have the opportunity to uh, make the changes now if you were to go to the creator studio it's sort of simple to we create new we would create our reel and we would upload it here and we would have this template that still gives us all the things we could do but everything is sort of changed as you, as you can see create is up here edit is here and it gives you this template to use to the velocity effect your edits. and cap you can cut, still all you do the same do stuff is go to your turn project. the volume down here um you still have pretty much the same uh um what do i want to say the same view you know just in a little different format and you could share and you have all the other options that we just saw using the meta business suite so that's how if you are actually looking to upload reels on your desktop using Meta Business Suite or the Creator Studio, this is a very, very great way um, or quick way that you could do this. Now, if this has been helpful, uh, please like our and like this video and subscribe to our page, especially if you want to know a lot more about marketing tips and how you could use this for marketing. Follow us on all our other channels and subscribe to our newsletter. Hope this was helpful. Take care.